Hi there, it's Abhijit. In this video, I will show you how we can build this Effigate Free Steel Drone. Not only the build part, but also I will share my thoughts and my mistakes with you so we can avoid it while you are doing. Before getting into the build process, let me show you what kind of equipment I am using. Okay, so here are all the drone equipment that I am going to use for this build. For the frame, I am going to use this KPRC Mark V 5 inch freestyle frame kit. There are many types of 5 inch frame available in market. You can choose whatever you like. So let's talk about the motors. I am going to use this T-Motor Velox V3 2207-1750kV motors. This is the most recent Velox series motor from T-Motor and I am using 1750kV version which is suitable for 5 inch propellers and 6S batteries. If you are looking for a budget friendly motor you should definitely check out, link in the description. I have also used some braided cable on the motor wires. It gives a really nice and premium look. If you want to use, you can use it. And here is the T-Motor Velox Cine F7 flight controller. Flight controller is the brain of the drone. Every electronics are connected to it. It's a really reliable flight controller. It can support up to 8 motors, but in this time we are going to use only 4 motors. And here is the 4-in-1 ESC. This is T-Motor Velox V50 Ampere ESC. I am using this ESC from like last 7 months and I did many crashes and having no issues. It can support up to 96 kW of PWM frequency. If you are looking for a new ESC, it's highly recommended. You should check out, link in the description. Ok, so let's talk about the video transmitter and the goggles. I am going to use Waxnail Avatar HD system at this time. And this is the Waxnail Avatar HD Pro Kit. Inside the box you will find this video transmitter and the camera. And this is a low light camera. That's why you will get excellent image quality in low light condition. I really love the camera and the image quality. And this is the Waxnail Avatar HD goggles. It has a really nice and premium build quality. I am using these goggles from like last few months and I really love the display quality and the range and penetration. Waxnail continuously giving firmware updates and making these goggles better and better. You should definitely check out, link in the description. And here is the FRSK Tranis X90 transmitter. I am using this transmitter since 2020 and I really love it. In the back side of the radio you can find this Crossfire Micro TX module. I am using Crossfire as my control link and here is the Crossfire Nano receiver. Crossfire is a long range control link, it's very reliable and very easy to set up. Let's get into the build process and you should start by assembling the frame. Generally a frame comes with a user manual or assembling guide. By any chance if your frame did not come with the user manual, you should go on YouTube or Google and search for it. You will definitely find the assembly video or user manual. Once you're done assembling, you should go ahead and start installing the motors. And inside the motor box, you will get the bolts and some other accessories. Inside this package, you will find this motor nut, which is used to tighten the propeller with the motor. You can also find a small bolt with an washer, which is used to tighten the motor bell with the stator. And finally, here you can find two different size of bolts to mount the motors. Choose that bolt, which is suitable for your frame arm thickness. After that, you should go ahead and mount the motors and tighten the bolts. Once you're done, do the same process with all of the motors. After that, we should go ahead and start placing the ESC. And as you can see, I am using some silicone spacers to increase the ESC mounting height. It will protect the ESC from touching the carbon fiber. After mounting the ESC, I have cut the extra length of the motor wires and strip the wires end and give it some twist. After that, I used my soldering iron and tin the wires. I highly recommend you to use a high quality soldering iron. And in this time, I set the soldering iron temperature to 420 degrees Celsius. After tinning the wires, I also tin the soldering pad of the ESC and start connecting the motor wires very carefully. After connecting all the motor wires, it looks really really nice. If you don't know how to solder wires, I highly recommend you to watch some tutorial videos on soldering joints. It will definitely help you a lot. Inside the ESC box, you will find this XT60 power cable. I have measured and cut the extra length of the wires.
After cutting the wires, I also strip the wires end and give it some twist and I tin the wires by using my soldering iron. And I set the iron temperature at 440 degrees Celsius at this time. After tinning the wires, I have also tinned my ESC power leads. Take your time and solder the wires very very carefully. You can see the joints looks really clean and I'm really happy with that. The ESC also comes with a capacitor. You need to solder it with your ESC. But before soldering, I put some heatsink tube on capacitor pins to avoid any kind of short circuit. After that, I have soldered the capacitor with the ESC power leads. Now it's time to install the video transmitter and the camera. This Waxnail HD Pro kit comes with some bolts and washers. And I am using these bolts to mount the VTX with the frame. After that I am mounting this VTX antenna on the back by using this 3D printed part. I also mounted the camera by using some bolts. Now it's time to install the flight controller. And the flight controller also comes with this connector which is used to connect the ESC with the flight controller. and I am going to use these plastic nuts to secure the flight controller in place. Now I am going to install the receiver and you should find a suitable place to install the receiver. At this time I am installing in the front side of the frame and passing the ESC wires from the bottom side of the flight controller. After that I soldered the receiver wires with the flight controller. You should check out your flight controller diagram to know the connection points. After connecting the receiver wires, I am also going to connect this video transmitter with the flight controller. And again you should check your flight controller diagram to know the connection points. At this point the drone is almost done. And I am going to install the top plates. At this point, all the hardwares are done and this drone needs some programming and I already made a video on that topic. You should check out link in the description. I am using this T-Motor 5.466 propellers at this time. There are many different types of 5 inch propeller available in market. You can choose anyone that you like to use. I am also using this battery pads. It really helps to grip the battery in place. After all of the setup, the drone looks really nice and it's ready for the test fly. Before doing the test fly, I like to invite you to my Instagram where I upload more FPV related contents. You should definitely check out link in the description below. And if you need any kind of help, you can message me as well. I will definitely try to help you. So let's go for the test fly. Before using the goggles, I suggest you to fly line of sight and once you feel comfortable, then you should go ahead and put your goggles on. Enjoy the FPV. Good wishes for you.
I hope you like my content. If yes, then give this video a like. It will be really appreciate. Keep flying. Happy flying. What kind of equipments that I am using? How about that one? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry.